Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. We're going back to what I used to do and that is... Dun 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 dun, actual ships! Yes, it's been quite a long time since I've done a ship and this is the Covenant dropship from Halo. Now, I don't know much about Halo because I've always been with PlayStation when it came to consoles but played enough to know that this is very recognisable if you have played it. So what is up with this ship? So it's very, very detailed, exceptionally detailed, in fact, but that's not the thing with it. Oh, no. But first, let's talk about the actual projections on here. So we have little projections on here, which is purely for decoration. I'm not sure what that is. Perhaps if you played Halo, you could always point that out and whatever. But there's nothing really that much to show you on the outside. It can fly in an atmosphere, as you can clearly see. It can fly in space. And it does have a little rocket launcher automatically going around on the back here. There does seem to be a little problem with that little placement because it would hit that if it needed to. So that's kind of a bad thing with it. So how do we get inside it? If you're like me, it took you a long time to realise that this is this little button on the side here. And if you press said button, it opens up the little drop part. So you can have all your little soldiers sitting in here. And then they can just get out and fall to the planet and go on their little merry way. But let's close that up with this little button here. So that is done on, what well, I believe, just a rotor. And yeah, you can't really walk down here, unfortunately. If you crouch, yeah, you can do it if you crouch, but you can't walk down it normally because it is a very cramped space. Now if I come around here, this is the little control room. That's where you drive it, I'll come to that in a second. And this is the little missile turret chair. So on this little thing we have like the whole integrity of the system. Basically telling you everything you need to know about your ship. That is just a decorative door. It could be a door but I haven't worked out how to open it. And if I get in here, it's very fiddly to get in the chairs in here. There's something really really screwy with the updates the Space Engineers. So I've finally got in the chair. It's very difficult, that's one thing i found. And you can Basically, the only thing you can do in this chair is take manual control of the rocket launcher. Let's shoot that over there. So it's pretty basic. Like I was saying before, this is the problem I had. If an enemy is round here, it's going to hit your own ship. So that is kind of problematic. But yeah, if I get out of that chair now and head over to this chair, and if I can sit in it, there is a real problem with trying to get into these chairs, by the way. A real, real problem. There we go. Now what you're seeing on the front here is a special little like display thing which is very cleverly set up. Now if I just turn this off, there we go, and now if I turn it back on, there we go, we now got a full motion little chart going. This is really heavy on the frame rate by the way, really really heavy but it's so damn cool just to see it like that. But let's turn that off because we don't need to see that. Okay, so in our little chair here, we then have a little five button, which is the front view. As I pointed out before, there's like a little camera on the front here, which we can then look and see around. That projection does kind of get in the way, but I presume it's just going to be the aesthetics for the whole Halo universe thing. We got the lights on here. We got some rotors, which if I come out of the screen and go to third person and then go under here, you can then control the doors, open them both at once, open one at a time. Or whatever. So you have that control over there if you want to sit in there and drop your friends off. And of course we've got our thrusters on there and lights. That's about it. So the last thing really is to give it a little fly around. So it's very, very, very slow as you can see there. Going fast. Or trying to go fast. And how does it stop? It stops relatively quickly. The whole turning is very hard as well. So it's a very slow ship. Don't expect to get in and out of danger very quickly with this thing. And as for like the front defense, there is nothing to defend you on the front or the top. It is just that missile turret underneath you. And you can see the missile turret is shooting at that target over there, which was originally the gimbal lasers that I set to the pirates. So that is just going to keep pummeling over there like a good little turret. So last things last. We haven't crashed a ship in a while, have we? So let's just go crash it into the base. Actually, I think I could do better than that. I could do better. I was so close to touching it, but I can definitely do better. Let's get some more speed, come round and ram ourselves into it to see what kind of damage we can deal. 
So here we go, we're gonna go for a nice big ram into this space station. Space station, it's the easy start Mars. But let's just get ram into it, we're going as fast as we possibly can in this ship. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Let's try and hook it onto here. Boom. Well, I can still sort of drive. That's the thing, I've kind of got hooked in there. I think some of my side thrusters have gone. So let me just try and get out of here. But yeah, it does appear that I've came out of that relatively okay. I have lost a little front part on the little things. So it might be a problem opening the doors now. No, it seems to be relatively okay actually. I mean, the doors are pretty banged up. That's relatively impressive, really. So yeah, it'll be in the description if you want to try it yourself. And I'll be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.